Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Dawn Alpha 21. I'm an old guy, Gaming Nan. In this episode, we are going to go ahead and tackle the uh, Higashi Pharmaceutical Tower, except for that I'm too low. I can't see. <laughs> Shit. I couldn't see where I was going. Um, so let's see if we can level out here and gain a little bit of altitude. And, of course, since we're on the chopper, we are going to... We're going to do this from the, the roof down, or at least we're going to land on the roof. I suppose what we could do is land on the roof and then jump down and start from the bottom and work our way back up. Um, I'm sure we're going to run into some Zeeks, though, as soon as we do land on this place. Very difficult to see because it's super foggy out right at the moment. Let's see if we can get over to the helipad here. Just got to go forward a smidge and then bring her down. Easier said than done. Okay, come on, me. Get over there. Get over there. About this. Oh shit, okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we gotta kill these guys. Well, no, actually we don't, because we haven't started the quest yet. Okay. Let's just head down, and we'll start at the bottom like we're supposed to. Okay. So all those Zeeks <laughs> are awake up on the roof. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, the thing is, you know what we probably should do, actually? Let, let's run away from the building so that they so that they reset. Because if we don't, if we don't do that, um, then when we start the quest, another batch of them is going to respawn while the other ones continue to... You know, uh, be a thing. So, yeah, let's run away, far enough away to where those Zeke's, sleeper Zeke's will respawn. Um, I am in, once again, by the way, in desperate need of cloth uh, to make duct tape. I wasn't able to actually make the, the Marauder, which is what I was hoping to do, uh, because I don't have enough duct tape to make the Marauder. Let's just run over here. We'll check inside this working stiffs. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Get out of here. All right. We're probably far enough away to where those sleepers on Higashi reset. So that way when we get, you know, to the end and we're all the way at the top, our vehicle will be, will be waiting for us. Our aircraft. Uh, more sledgehammer or no shotgun. I always get the slot, shotgun and the sledgehammers mixed up. Okay, that was one of the club magazines. There's some glue. Some ski goggles. Nice. All right. Yeah. So this is um this is an infested. So it's a tier six and. Uh, I did do Higashi on Alpha 20, so I've already done the new version of it, but um, I don't remember exactly, you know, what all went down. So we'll just do it again because we have not done it in this series and have some fun with it. Okay, so here we go. Man, I, I wish this damn fog would go away. I guess I could make it go away with an admin command. Um, you know, it's very unrealistic that fog would be inside a building like this. Um, but, you know, let's just go do our thing and hopefully it'll go away on its own here pretty soon. If not, then I might make it go away magically. Okay, so we got a bunch of red dots over this way. Let's see if we can get some sneaky sneaks in here.
The Higashi Pharmaceutical Building had uh, strippers for receptionists, so there you go. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Okay, he's out, out of the picture. We got another business guy whose head we can't quite see. Master, we are not alone. Okay, he's dead. Um, there's some zombs that way. Yeah, inside that office building. And I think that's everybody from over on this side. Okay, let's see if we can sneaky sneak some of these Zeeks in this corner office here. We can definitely get her. Okay, she's dead. We woke one guy up. And the other guy is awake now too. And the stripper receptionist, so I'm not judging. Okay, let's go in here and check this. Uh, explosives, nice. And we got a bookshelf. I don't know why my light's not on. Another spear hunter. Some water. Fisticuffs. Those Zeeks must be up above us. Okay. More red dots over on the other side here. Nobody in there. Let's check the uh, toilets for the water. Always need water. My senses have picked up something. We got just one Zombo's attention. All systems go. Oh. How may I help? Oh, by the way, I've got my drone fi completely filled with uh, medical bandages, so she can heal me. Okay. Oh, whoopsie. She did. Woke up another one there. Where are you going? Hold still. Oh, I thought you were dead, lady. I can't hit his head. Come here. Okay, he's dead. All right, that'll take care of all red dots on the first floor. Shotguns. Nothing there. I'll take the pumpkin seeds. Don't care about the rest of that stuff. Okay. What I'm going to do... Actually, you know what, though? We have no reason to come back down here because our vehicles, our aircraft, is on the top. So... We don't actually need to come back down here. We'll leave that stuff for the moment. So I believe it wants us to go up the the escalators to the next floor. Okay. And the red dots show up. Let's go over to this. Uh this little side room first. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Uh, that woke them up. That's a lot. We're gonna have to get the big gun out. Okay, do we wake up more? Yep, here they come.
Okay, well, that was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Grab some coffee. That machine is not usable. Oh, I gotta remember to get cloth. We have got to get cloth. Absolutely, very important. So we'll get those couches. Um, is there anything in here that could be cloth? Uh, these are going to be... Oh, yeah, these are cloth. Okay. I was thinking they were plastic, but they're cloth with lines. More Joe. Is there um, something f faster I could use? Yeah, this is a little faster. Like, a way faster. Good. Alright. I'm gonna also grab all of these two. So each time I hit it with this, I'm getting one cloth each. Do I get more if I use the axe? Yeah, I'm getting like four each. So even though the axe is slower... We're getting way more cloth, so I guess it's still worth it to use the axe. It just takes a little longer. Okay, so we have now harvested all the cloth. I, I went back to the stun baton for the pull-down shades because I was only getting one per with the axe on those two. Well, hello there. All right, let's get some more cloth. Get out of here. Got three zomba doodles in there. Where'd that other one go? Did we kill him or did he? Yeah, we must have because I don't see. Enemies, I don't see red dot. Okay, let's get these. All right, so I now have 434. Okay, so that means I can make... Uh, it takes 10 cloth to make one duct tape, so I can make 40, 43. I can make 43 duct tape so far. I think I need a total of 90 for the Marauder. Let's look again. I don't want to spend this whole entire time, you know, doing this, but I want to at least make sure we have enough... Bring enough back to make this because yeah this takes 50 duct tape and this takes 40 so we need 90s that means we need 900 uh we need to make sure we we're coming home with 900 cloth yeah it's a lot i've yeah. got a bad Gravy. feeling a lot. about this okay um where do we go next i guess we go up the stairs Okay, it says I'm hungry. Let's eat both these corn dogs to uh, free up that slot there. And uh, we're not really that thirsty. We'll have the red tea. Okay. Up we go to the next floor. Floor number three. And look at all the zombies already in that room. Oh. 
I figured there'd be glass there. Is there glass here? Nope. I guess it's already broken out. Okay. Uh, can't see any more heads at the moment. I'm going to have to wait for those bodies to clear out. Let's just get uh, some coffee while we're waiting. All right, there we go. He did. Yeah, we're not alone. Okay. Take a look in here. We got shotguns and whatever the hell that was. <laughs> got side uh, distracted there for a second. All right. Uh, there's a wolf or something down there. Nothing behind there. Ooh, okay, so there's a copper ruski. I don't know if he's feral or not. All right, that takes care of him. Uh, I think I can get him in the head. All right. Oh, shit. Get them all lined up outside the door here, and oh, you know what? Dog got it. I forgot to bring my um my landmines. My senses have picked up something. Kind of sucks. All right, well, let's just kill some of these through the door. All right, well, I guess that takes care of all of them. And I am infected. So we will take an herbal antibiotic. And we will take one of these for the sprain. And we will take one of these for the abrasion. While we're at it, let's just get rid of a couple things that we don't need. Uh, actually, I don't need that pumpkin seed. Okay. All right, well, we got everybody's attention in, uh, on the first part of this floor, anyway. Some pumpkins. Yeah, looks like the cop blew up some of the stuff there. Anybody in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Got a couple robotics books there. None of those desks are lootable. Okay, we can't go through there. So we should get a new batch of badness going in through here, I think. Yeah, maybe not till we go into the next part. 86 out of 100 on handguns. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take that. 42 out of 100 on machine guns. Not that that matters a whole lot. Yeah, I think there's a big ambush that's going to come as we go through here, if I recall correctly. Well, that door's even unlocked. Make sure everybody's ready to go here. I'm a little bit irritated with myself that I didn't bring my doggone uh, landmines. Let's get our rocket launcher down here. 
So we have it ready to go and yeah, okay. Very possible that they will be coming out of the ceiling, but I just don't remember. Master, we are not alone. That's all, just those three? Okay. What how did he get knocked over? <laughs> that was weird. Alright, so there's a baddie in there. Alright, you know what? This is taking too long. Alright. They're both dead. Let's, uh... Let's snipe this guy. Well, so much for that, eh? Got our abrasion back, but I don't know if we can take another one right now or not. Uh, another bandage. Oh, I guess that's not lootable. Okay, let's take a look and see if any of these desks or filing cabinets are lootable. Um, I'm I'm not going to keep getting paper. What I might do though is I might come back here uh, at the end off camera and harvest some more of this paper but if I keep stopping to get that paper it's just going to take too long so um oh we came through there yeah right okay so got a bunch more red dots anybody behind here I think they're all going to be like in these bathrooms, and if I remember right, I think they're going to possibly like fall on onto our head from the ceiling too. The door's unlocked. Let's go in here. I've got a bad first. feeling about this. Okay. Oh, well, that worked. Okay. Aren't we going to get a bunch come out of the ceiling at us in here? Or am I thinking of something different? Or maybe it's on a, a higher up floor. I don't remember. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, yeah, we got to parkour up to the next floor. Nobody comes out of the ceilings in these in these bathrooms. Okay. That desk is lootable. There's some more cloth for us. Rifles and robotics. Any bad guys in here? Spears. 27 out of 75. And that's it. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this parkour. Oh. There's a munitions box down there. That's a lot of shotgun shells. This just leads out into the... 
into that office. But why don't we do this instead? Just to save ourselves a little bit of time instead of running all the way back again. We'll just do this. Grab a couple of those. Okay, up we go. Get onto this little ledge. Now I think we get a do we get a big ambush as soon as we walk through this door? Okay. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Let's switch to this weapon. Is it these bathrooms where they come out of the ceiling and jump on our head? No. Okay, grab some more water or toilet paper. What about in here? Go through the wall there. Okay. Okay, before we do that, is there anything else? Here is an ammo pile. All oh, those doors are locked. Okay, we've got some Zeeks in there. Okay, let's go ahead and head through here. Still no triggers, okay? Just loot all that stuff real quick. What's going to happen when we go in here? Aren't there zombies in these? I've got a bad feeling about this. Is it just you? Okay, check these drawers and cabinets. I see zombos in there. Doesn't one of these things have like a a secret behind him or something? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different place. Okay. That door could be closed if we need to close it. Okay, I'm just doing this because I want Master, we are not a second to launch one of these as soon as they break the door. Uh, drone... Drone lady, girl, teddy bear, get out of the way. To wait for they, them to actually break the door. I mean, I, I might be able to send it through that hole, but let's just wait so we have a, a guaranteed shot here. That worked. <laughs> this thing does a crap out of damage, man. <coughs> 1,422 explosion damage. 
That's insane. That is like absolutely insane. A, a normal grenade only does 341, so yeah, nice. I love it. I'm a fan, man. I am a fan. All these are all screwed up now. Um, I'm just going to break them. Or at least break that one. Okay, so I guess that got... I don't know if we got all of them, but got quite a few of them. We know, You know what? We should probably repair this. It's getting close, and this probably should be repaired too, and this probably should be repaired too. That door's locked. So how are we supposed to get in here? Do we just... Is it just one of those side rooms where we just break in? Oh, well, wait a second. Mm, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see a way around that direction. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. Okay, well, I guess this is just a break-in side room. So let's do it. Not that it's going to take that long. Okay, we've got a bookshelf with some paper. Desk with some goth boots. Weapons bag with clubs and bow parts. And I guess that's it. We got a poppin' pills. Come on, let's use the right tool for the right job here. Okay, take that. Is that anything? No, it's not. Anything in this server room? Nope. Don't care about any of that stuff. Okay. We got a new zombies in there. That door can be closed. That's the way that we're supposed to go, though. This is probably going to wake. Can I thread the needle there? Oh, man. I don't know. Nope. A lot of zombies in here. Man, I wish I would have brought my landmines. That is so loud. <laughs> So those guys are outside. Hmm. Do they have a way, an easy way to get in here? Yeah. In fact, you know what? I think we have to go out there because the light's here shining into that room. And I think this is another break-in room. Okay, before we do that, let's um, let's go deal with the zombies in this other room here. Well, that door's locked too. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to go outside and go around.
You'll see another red dot way over that way. Okay, let's break in here. Take those, but I'm not gonna take the rest of that stuff. Aha, look at that. Look at that. Take those. All right. Out this way we go. Um, is this going to collapse at all? No, I guess not. Do we have vultures? So we got a couple guys over that way. Or one guy, anyway. Okay, there's still... I wonder if um, one of the zombos fell off the building and is down on the street. Is that red dot that's moving around. We're going to have to investigate that, but let's deal with this other one first. Okay. So. It's not him. Here, I'll bet you it's him right there. Yeah, okay. Got him. Oh, he's still not dead. Now he is. Okay. You're not dead. You're not dead yet. Okay, that's it for floor number four. Up to five. Five alive. Well, hopefully we'll stay alive. Kim storage. Yeah, there's a, a victim there. All right, what's going on in this room here? I don't see any red dots in this room. Ooh, look at that. My word. A steel sledgehammer in a, in a clothes locker? Hmm. Who'd have thunk, huh? We'll have to take that home and see if it's, um, how it compares to our other sledge. Which I might switch back to. I mean, I am really actually enjoying the stun baton, though. Uh, but I love the sledge too, so we'll we'll just compare the two. Okay, so we might be able to get a couple more sneaky sneaks off in here before the shit hits the fan. Let's just see how this goes. There's a purse up there. Yeah, there's a guy right there. <clears throat> I don't know if we can get to him though. Yeah, we can't do a body shot on him because he's a greenie. Okay. Probably somebody in there. Master, we are not alone. Okay. 
We just have three guys, so not to worry about them. Alright, you know what? I'm done screwing around. Hold still. Um, can we take another one of these? We have six minutes on an abrasion. Okay, yeah, that knocked it down. Little plastic. Is there anything in here? Or in here? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Why is there a light right there? Don't know. Okay. Oh, yes, this room. Looking at for any pre kills. There's one. We have another red dot over there, but can't see where they are. It looks like we woke up some bad guys. He's dead. I don't know what all that walking around is. There's definitely somebody in there. My senses have picked up something. Come at me, bro. Oh, there they are. They're like over on the other side of that bulletproof glass. Alright, he's dead. It's funny how those zombies on the other side of the bulletproof glass are the ones that actually heard me. Okay. Uh, can I get that head? I sure can. Got some mad skills there, man. I see you, bro. Let's go ahead and eat a spaghetti. And we'll throw back this uh, yucca juice too. I've got some crap to get out of my inventory, but I'll worry about that once we completely fill up. Crossbow. Master, bolt. we are not alone. We're not. 
Oh, you guys are stuck, aren't you? Kind of sucks to be you. You got. Let's do that again. You guys are stuck, aren't you? Kind of sucks to be you. <laughs> Take two, huh? Um. We seem to have a guy that somehow got behind us. How did that happen? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to have to go after him, though. There he is. How strong is this? Three thirty thousand hit points. You know what? I think he's actually coming back this way. Got him. Okay, so. Nothing there. Yeah, that goes back to that. Uh. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. That hideout place. Um, there's a, a place where somebody, oh, isn't there supposed to be like a little shelter, camp out kind of place behind there? Or am I thinking of a different spot? There's a duffel bag. Oh, there's zombies in here. that's how we get up to the next floor but we're not actually finished quite yet on this floor you know I don't want to speak too soon but so far this has seemed pretty tame for a, a tier six I'm probably gonna regret saying that though We, oh, yeah, we did already come through here. Okay, so we're done with this floor. Okay, nothing around there. DNA testing. That's loaded, right? Okay. There's some duct tape and some cloth. Need both of those things. I've got a bad feeling about this. Takes care of them. Little ammo pile there. No 
something in this little server room. There's a purse back there. Interesting control room. I guess she's dead. Come at me, bruh. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay. I got some acid. You know what? I completely forgot to turn... Not that it's really caused too much trouble, but... We need to put that thing in quiet mode. All right, I think this is another ambush location. Yep. They did. There's pigs up here. Okay, one more red dot. Check all this stuff real quick. Oh, right here. Okay. Let's grab this because I don't actually carry a bladed weapon with me anymore. There you go. Okay, this is going to be fun. There's a whole bunch of badness in this room. This is where I wished I had my doggone landmines. But, we do have grenades. Okay, so... Um, I could, I guess I could try and snipe some of these guys. Okay, that worked. That worked too. That's it. All right. How do we get an abrasion again? How do those things happen? I want to know. Oh, nice. A beaker. Those are pretty rare. That's one of those items in this game that has always been rare, no matter what alpha I've ever played. Beakers are always hard to come by. 
Unless you get really lucky. Club crafting. Okay. That takes care of this floor. Ooh, nice. We'll take that. I've actually had to make a bunch of those for our new weapons. Okay, looks like we are... Uh, do we have one more floor to go, or are we at the... Yeah, one more floor. Trials. Okay, I think we need to go this way, maybe. There's nobody in here. Look at that. Buzzards. Okay, that takes care of those buzzards. And we got one guy way the hell up there. Okay. We gotta get rid of some stuff. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. That and that and that. Okay, we'll see how we can do with those. Oh. That Zombo's in there. Uh, wait a second. Are we supposed to go this way? Yeah, I think so. Probably supposed to come around this way. And go through here. Look at the morgue. Okay. I see uh, some loot boxes over that way. The door's unlocked. These are just offices, an observation room or something, maybe? Ruski in there. That's the room that we just killed the Hawaii 5 in. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to go through here. There's two cops there. Dispatches them. Vista cuffs. Handguns. 
Oh, we got a button to, to push. What in the hell is going to happen when we push that? Well, one way to find out, right? All right. <clears throat> Look at that, Gracie's. How did you not die, lady? Well, you're dead now. That's amazing that she survived that. <laughs> it's like, what in the hell? Okay. I, I I like the rocket launcher, you guys. Gotta gotta say, I like the rocket launcher. Ooh, look at all those red dots. Um okay. So why don't we just get the party started here? Okay, I think we got it started. This is a little bit close, but I think we can probably pull this off. Yeah, you know what? We might get hurt. There we go. Okay. Only one red dot. He's over in that other room. I don't have my uh, uh, you know, impact driver. That's what I'm trying to say with me, so I can't. Yeah, good. We got an acid. I can't harvest these blood bags. I mean, I can, but the chances of, of getting the blood bag from them are not as good. Oh, nice, another beaker. Uh, if you don't have an impact driver. Okay. Let's take that. What's out here? Chemistry station. Huh. Interesting place for a chemistry station. Little tent there. So that that seems to suggest that one of the employees of the Higashi Pharmaceutical Company was making their own uh, meth or something on their break. All right, I think that's it for this level. And up we go. There's the loot. Okay, so what's going to happen here now is we're going to trigger and then we're just going to get a metric shit ton of Zeeks. So let's just make sure everybody's loaded um, and take them out. Unless uh, maybe it doesn't happen until I open the thing, actually. I don't remember. This would be a cool place to have a base. Up in the Higashi penthouse. Um, here, let's open this. I think this is what causes them to come. Or not. Never mind. Okay. I'd like to... To have a base up at the top of this building someday. Of course, um, the top of uh, Vanity Tower is pretty cool, too. 
I don't know if it's as cool as this, though. This is still pretty badass up here. I'm not going to take those. As soon as we deal with the rest of the nasties, though, then we can offload in our chopper, so... We're in pretty good shape overall. There's a uh, ammo pile in here. Okay. All right, so I guess they don't trigger, what, until we go up these stairs, maybe? Let's do that. See what happens. No, so far so good. There they are. All, uh, all are outside there. Don't really need spoiled meat anymore. I'm not making more crop plots, and <clears throat> we can make a lot better food than hobo stew. So there's just not much point in hanging on to those. Oh wait, no, that's not true. We need we need those for four bites. That's right, I forgot. So yeah, we better hang on to those. What what are all the recipes? Oh, and sham too. Right. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we definitely need to hang on to those. Don't know what I'm talking about, man. Well, all right, why don't we see if we can get a few sneaky sneaks. Got to break that glass first. <laughs> that is a shit ton of red dots. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's uh, the shoulder of maybe another jiggly over there. Not kind of hard to tell. Where's that dog at? Well, we just woke a dog up. I don't know where he's at yet. Oh, man. How did that miss? Well, we just managed to piss him off. Trying to get a few more kills in before we wake up the whole damn lot of them, you know? I don't know why that dog's not coming down there. He must be stuck or something. He was indeed. Oh, shit. Don't scare me like that, Jiggly. That's where we came through. Most of them are, are laying up there right by our chopper. Take care of him. There's a dude down here. Well, just woke him up. Oh, shit. Have a crossbow bolt in your eye, dude. Okay. So we still haven't woken up the big batch of them yet. Come down here. Oh, we can get into the loot room now. But let's not do that yet. Let's uh let's finish clearing and then we'll because I'm gonna have to offload a few things in the chopper anyways. Hmm. Yeah, let's 
go. Can we stand on top of these hedges? Oh, we can. Okay. I want to be up a little higher so I can see what the hell's going on. Okay, there's a guy over there. There's a Jiggly, but I can't really get to her head, so she gets shot in the coochie. Ouch. Okay. I think that takes care of all these zombos down here. Let's get our bolts. Okay, here's some more. Let's bring these guys back down here. Are they all awake? I think I think they're all awake. Shit. Ow. Can I close that door? Get out of here. There we go. Shoot them through the fence. Trap myself in here, didn't I? Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. But it worked out okay. Our health is fine. He's dead. Got some vultures to deal with, and I think we're good. Um, let's fix our critical. So, take one of those. Oh, I must have got infected. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just got infected, and then it multiplied by getting hit. That's probably what happened. Because I didn't notice that before. Uh, we'll take a honey. All right, come here, vultures. Come at me, bro. There. Alright, how do we... How do we get up to the, the top? Go back through here again. Oh, this way. That bird is. Is he is he underneath? Oh yeah, he is. Okay. There. Alright, one more zombo. One more zombo to go. Where are you at, brah? Yeah. 
Is he down below? Oh, he's stuck in the floor. Yeah, well, that explains it. Okay, let's um see if we can liberate him. What the hell? He got stuck again. That's bullshit. It's like he lost his collision. Okay, well, he's he's another floor down now. Yeah, I tell you what I'm going to do, uh, because this is a glitch, and I am really tired and want to go to bed in real life, I'm just going to do this. Wait, what did I just do? Debug menu. There. Where'd you go? There. Okay. And then we'll just fly back up to... to here. And we can finish the quest. Or no, we've already finished the quest. Return to trader. Nice. Okay. All right, let's load a couple things up in here, and then we'll go get the fat loots. Of course, we're not going to be able to turn it, do the turn in now because it's too late. But that's fine. Okay, let's see what's in Savage Country box. Low power box. That's all that we are concerned about there. What else do we have up here? Uh, ammo. Nice landing job. Okay, let's go down and get the loot. <clears throat> Look at how that weapons bag is glitched inside of the thing. That's weird. Something they should probably fix. My goodness, look at all this stuff. Okay. Uh, damage against deer. Clubs. Shotgun turret bundle and security camera bundle. And a nice lever action rifle that we can sell for a nice chunk of change. And a crap ton of ammo. Okay. More savage country. Bows. Machine guns. And that's everything except for the main chest. Auto turret bundle. A map. We'll read that when we get closer to home. And some more ammo stuff. Okay, so that is the loot. Fantastic. Um... I guess we have to go back through here, don't we? All right, guys. Well, that is uh, it for this episode. So we'll start the next episode at the trader with the turn in. Or either that or I'll go do it off camera, but I'll record uh, what I actually get. And um, we, we, could, we could do the Deshong Tower on, as a tier six. I'm... I'm I'm, the only reason I wouldn't do the Deshong Tower is because I spent my entire Undead Legacy... Well, not my entire, but my Undead Legacy series that I had before 
we, you know, before 21 came out uh, in the Deschamps Tower. That was where our base was. We built our base in the top floor. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not super th chomping at the bit to do it because, you know, been there, done that kind of thing. But we'll see. Um, otherwise, I don't know if there's any other Tier 5 or Tier 6 um, POIs left that we haven't done yet. I think we've done them all, as far as I know. Um, but we'll keep looking at the trader, and if, if something else pops up other than Deshong, um, you know, that we haven't done, then then maybe we'll do that. Uh, but, you know, there's also a whole mess of, you know, lower level POIs that I still haven't experienced yet, you know. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just either do some lower level jobs or even uh, even better just go just randomly do them just pick pick some you know that we haven't done and do them because i mean i don't need any more money you know i just don't i don't we're, we're maxed out on levels we're maxed out on jobs so there really isn't a huge incentive to continue doing jobs for the traders i you know sure enough we get a reward but i mean we're finding top end loot you know, without even without the rewards, so it's not like we absolutely have to do that either. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, though, if if, if another tier six or even tier five pops up that we haven't done yet, uh, we uh, aside from Deshaun, we will do it just to do it. But otherwise, I think we've we've pretty much covered everything. Um, the other thing I'm, I will say to you guys too is that we are definitely uh, approaching the end of this series. I don't know how many more episodes I will do. Um, I have something in the works for a new season, um, but I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to mention exactly what that is until I kind of figure it out a little bit more. Uh, but there probably won't be too much more uh, of this series before we before we wrap it up and then you know try something new. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye bye.